what's going on guys welcome back happy tuesday listen if you're a casual marvel fan or you're not really into marvel odds are there's been a good amount of card releases that you have no idea who the hell you're looking at right pixie super giant gladiators stuff could be out of like league of legends for all you know but every now and then we get ourselves an iconic marvel hero and today war machine finally hits marvel snap does he live up to the hype and the name is this the card that you'll be kicking yourself if you don't pick up or in the great words of admiral akbar it's a trap now for those of you that have like zero marvel knowledge i mean you barely know who iron man is war machine is also known as james rhodes or more commonly known as Rhodey, a skilled military pilot and tony stark's best friend now he's one of the few that were able to wear the iron man armor outside of stark himself and while rhodes doesn't have any superhuman powers the war machine armor is designed for him by tony stark giving him unprecedented strength and a massive arsenal of weapons which like i always wondered how he doesn't run out of these weapons eventually right like missiles keep firing in infinity war and they just keep firing and he just doesn't ever seem to reload now the suit also has the ability to fly at mach 2 and is equipped with bombs guns missiles lasers like every weapon you can imagine the dude's decked out and with his unwavering courage tactical brilliance and the might of his armored suit war machine stands out as a stalwart protector embodying the blend of heroism and modern warfare that defines his iconic character now in Marvel Snap, he's a four cost six power card similar to Iron Lab with the ability on reveal until the end of next turn. Nothing can stop you from playing cards anywhere. Look guys, obviously this is a great ability. You don't need to be playing Marvel Snap long to know this. We've got cards like Jeff uh, that even though it has the ability built into their own kit, War Machine is giving this to all the other cards in your deck. Now outside of the card synergy though that we're going to talk about a bit later, the locations is what really stands out on why war machine is gonna be legit okay there's so many locations that can alter your game it can stop your game plan it can stop the opponent's game plan and having this kind of break glass in case of emergency card that you'll probably use often is why i think he's gonna be so good you've got common locations ones that show up all the time the crimson cosmos the hellfire clubs kiln miniaturized lab is a massive one your opponent can't play into this until literally the last turn of the game most of the time you can just play whenever you want with war machines so just an easy great example pet mansion not as much but still restrictive you've got like avengers compound if you play at the right time you can play wherever you want to big house obviously and the vault so very common locations show up all the time i would say one in every like five to ten games he's going to give you that use over your opponent and that in itself pretty damn good but then you also have like the almost not the instant wins but the morags the sanctum the space thrones of the world these locations are super restrictive and war machine is going to give you the ability to play four cards in space throne or get things into sanctum that isn't a dr doom bot or morag and you don't have to play somewhere so you can play a huge card on it right that is where i think he's really going to shine as a card and in my gameplay kind of the most use that i got out of him it's nice to play some of the crazy synergized options he has and because of that war machine's gonna shine similar to something like legion or why cerebro isn't always the most consistent all right taking a look at these star ratings guys this is gonna be a tough one i think war machine is one of those cards that we need thousands of games to really see his overall potential but it was pretty immediate that he made a clear impact and really supercharged some cards within the game now i'm gonna give them a 4.5 even a five star rating hate to give these out just willy-nilly but it's hard to not give it to a card of such magnitude and such a great ability war machine is going to help you out of so many games between locations synergies and that's kind of the best thing about him that we'll talk about later he pretty much synergizes with every single deck now, when it comes to the fun factor, it, it is War Machine, but he isn't exactly screaming fun. You know, opposed to the roads you see in the MCU, looks like a good time. i am give him about a three here, right? He's definitely, you know, fun to play different cards in places they're not supposed to. And if you can pull off a Galactus and Sanctum, then I'm sure he's a freaking great time. Uh, but about middle of the pack, three is what I'll give him as a general use. Now, when it comes to flexibility, he's getting the perfect five-star rating. The guy synergizes technically with every card, and then some cards he really amplifies truly one of those cards that you can plug into most decks and that's going to be one of the most lucrative things about getting them to your collection 
you know you're going to be able to use him no matter what archetype you like to play he's going to help out and that's what's awesome about him i would say most of the time like you know war machine himself he's offensive but he also has defensive capabilities like playing into professor x and when it comes to the adjustment category uh, again this one's tough guys he does have a kit that's rather tougher to adjust if he was going to be too broken uh, i would expect if anything most likely we would see his power go down uh, for any reason, if, I don't know, he, he was underperforming, which I don't think will be the case, we would see the power go up. This is definitely going to be one of those cards that most likely get their power adjusted, not so much the cost. Look, in a nutshell, guys, we've had a couple of cards like this come out in Marvel Snap, right? The Iron Lads of the world is the easiest to compare them to, even though the abilities are pretty drastically different. It's a card that truly works on curve with a multitude of decks. And for months, people were wondering cozy what do i replace iron lad with and the answer sadly was pretty much nothing and i think war machine is going to be exactly like that yes you could play jeff there are other things you can do but war machines kit and just what he can bring to a deck is going to be pretty exclusive to him and for that reason and that reason alone even if you're not crazy about him day one most likely he's gonna be a pretty damn good card now it's tough to talk about synergy for a card that synergizes with uh, yeah, pretty much everything but let's talk about the mvps to start now, sadly, there's no really, like, strict Iron Man synergy. Obviously, Iron Man will work with him, but there's nothing, you know, direct there, which I kind of wish there was. Uh, but by far, the cards that he amplifies to the next level are great power cards that are cheap, like Ebony Maw. And by association of the buffs he gives, the Black Knight. Now, this has to do with cards like Infinite and Giganto. Both these cards are pretty restrictive, but with War Machine, you're able to play their huge power very easily, and this is going to be a major use case for the card, thus Black Knight being great as he already has those cards in his deck. Now, other great cards that you can synergize with them are location ones like Storm, Goose, and Professor X. Storm and Goose being a bit better because they can be played on curve, but Professor X, if you're able to cheat him out or one of the mini locations like Sakaar, there's a lot of ways that Pro X can come out first. Uh, then you're going to get some obvious, pretty clear synergy there. Now, looking at the other synergy options, again, these are other cards that you can take advantage of direct War Machine ability, and that's going to be something like Century, where you can maybe clog up the right lane to avoid uh, the void. Uh, you've got Crossbones, who's just going to be a great play with something like Ebony Maw on turn five. Legion going into that Storm lane. Uh, even Sandman, Electro, you can cheat past their ability, so I thought I would include them here as well. I like Miss Marvel in this other synergy. Sometimes it can be wonky playing cards because you have locations or maybe Professor X. Something stopping you from playing the two cards needed to activate her ability. War Machine's going to make that all that much easier. Now, Zabu is an MVP. Obviously, he, he's great to have out there. But you don't want to play War Machine on turn three. And it is often a card you probably will not play on turn three, that is and using his effect on turn four. So for that reason, I've got Zabu here as you know, you'll clearly put him with other fours that will naturally work together, but he's not like a direct awesome synergy by himself. Now, funny enough, Iron Lad, obviously getting access to War Machine's ability by just scanning the deck is never a bad thing. Jean Grey and having that lockdown can work for a ton of different uses. And then of course, Cold Obsidian, one of the newest cards, won't need a one cost card. You can simply play him wherever you want. And uh, that is where Zabu could come in handy on something like turn six. Right, so that's the card synergies, the locations. We got the iconic War Machine. Let's talk about the decks and uh, at least day one, the ones I was testing out with them. And I had to go to Black Knight first just because of all the other main synergies he has falls in line with Black Knight's deck. All right, guys, let's go ahead and talk about War Knight. And essentially, this deck is just absolutely cracked. Black Knight's already at a pretty good spot and War Machine is going to take it to the next level a lot of synergy kind of deceptive to the eye here happening with a couple of flex options that you can swap out i would say goose shang chi cool obsidian are going to be your most flexible cards here maybe ebony ma if you don't want to go that route you can sub these out for crossbones miss marvel magneto even something like storm like there's a lot of different things to go with both war machine and what the kit's trying to do but focusing on the synergy within the deck obviously you have black knight that's great to get down nice and early a lot of one drops here to go ahead and play cool obsidian if we don't get the right draw we also have zabu that's discounting a ton of cards here in addition to the ebony blade that we will get from the black knight and what's cool here is We've got Goose to protect our cards. Now, first of all, we have a lot of cheap cards that we can play into Goose. We can play Zabu and get the Ebony Blade in there. We also have good cards like Ebony Maw. But on top of that, if you don't get the Zabu, it's awesome. Because what you can do is play War Machine, and then we can play any card to our heart's delight 
into that goose link. Now, War Machine is not only going to help us out with all the locations that we covered, but on top of that, we also have a lot of ways to cheat these cards out, like Cole Obsidian without a one drop, Giganto not on the left side, Infinite wherever we want to play them. A lot of great options here. And we just have the synergy of Lady Sif and Black Knight. We can get rid of Giganto or Infinite, bring them back with Ghost Rider and have a souped up Ebony Blade, or simply just play the War Machine play with one of the big cards, and usually that's gonna net you a win as well. Now, my mission and win condition with the deck is typically go ahead and secure a lane with Goose and play a moderate amount of power in there, making sure that you have a good amount over your opponent. And then the other lane, you can Shang-Chi or play one of your big boys here for a lot of unsuspecting power. Now, obviously, like the best play lines early on are Black Knight, maybe Blade early with one of your bigger cards. Uh, most of the time, if I have a card to get rid of that's huge with Blade, whether I have Black Knight out or not, I'm typically doing it, especially, obviously, if we have Ghost Rider. Now, Ebony Maw, I'm typically never playing on Curve. There are some circumstances that you can. And remember, great part about War Machine is if you have them in the opening hand or maybe by turn two, turn three, you know that you can play back into that Ebony Maw even if you play him early, so he's not even a risk to play whatsoever. This deck has legit just endless play lines. Honestly, one of my favorite decks I've played in quite a while, with the only con to it maybe being that it's somewhat tough to snap. It's pretty obvious when things are going awesome for you, which is going to happen a good amount of time. And so when you get rid of the Infinite, you get rid of the Giganto, you just got to snap early here and expect some retreats. Uh, if they snap, maybe snap back if things are looking pretty good for you. But for the most part, uh, this deck just doesn't have a lot of counters to it. You can add extra protection if you want armor in there or maybe Kyera because we do have a good amount of ones and sixes. But guys, I mean, experiment away. Uh, just crossbones being played in here. You can even go with something like, I don't know, Sentry in the Annihilus package. Black Knight has a lot of just great core power putting out there with the extra like cherry on top being the Ebony Blade that can't be shang chi or having its power reduce a very tough deck to deal with and definitely my favorite so far Alrighty, guys we have black knight goose and war machine uh this is quite easily the best starting hand you have the black knight on curve we have our goose on curve we have the war machine this is a snapper if i've ever seen one uh but we don't want to scare this guy off nova roma makes things even better no discard card yet but that's okay and zabu could it get any better holy crap uh, we'll go Zabu now, and then Goose will be played shortly after here. Okay, armor left side. And Clintar. Let's see, we have a lot of options. We're gonna go with Lady Sif now. Get the Giganto out of here. We do have War Machine to play Giganto, but we might as well get, uh, our Ebony Blade as well. Pretty good Ebony Maw on his part. And then we've got the Shang-Chi. Okay, well, things are looking good for us, guys. I think we're going to go Ghost Rider, get the Giganto, have all that absorbed. And then we'll probably go War Machine turn five with Goose, potentially. just such a fun deck to play okay we got the blade let's go war machine now we'll throw him uh potentially right side goose middle is so so it could restrict him from doing that and then we can go war machine left side which allows us to play shung and ebony blade together that's probably the move he's gonna make something huge here but we can just kill it with shung Yeah, let's go with that. Do we? I kind of feel like we snap here. The, we've had a lot of retreats, so we're gonna we're gonna stick with it. But this would be a typical snap here. Slayer Furies. It's lucky on this one. Let's scan. We got the vision. Kind of complicates things. And Ebony Maw. I mean, we get to play the Maw. We get to play the Blade. Oh, let's see. Um, if he doesn't move the vision, that wins. Usually, we'd want to play Maw. So sick that we can do that. Feels like a cheating on Sauron um I think we just do this right here he'd have to do a mastermind move and he uh he did not so we got Ebony Blade left Taskmaster copies nothing 
And uh, we went all three locations. Th it, this is just such a cool deck. There's so many play lines. A lot of ways to Victory. get, like, defense with Goose. And then you've got the Shang-Chi. Wow. All right. Oh, we got our first Sanctum game. Oh, my God. Hopefully, hopefully we get the War Machine. Just so we can play it out. All right. Nebula. We love Onslaught for Zabu. That's going to lead to... Oh, my gosh. It's perfect. Don't leave. Don't don't go anywhere. We we'll give you nebula points. Take them. They're yours. Look at that. You have a three nebula. We actually don't have other. We need some other cards first, though. Cloning vats. It just keeps getting better. Okay. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Is stupid. All right. Let's go. Uh, I barely even want to play blade there. Do we just go blade middle? Get rid of the giganto. And play out war machine oh my gosh there's so many things to do guys this is a snap a snap but we need to we need to do this first shadow kit what the hell why would why why okay that must be the only play you could have done even then i wouldn't have done it all right we get multiple war machines shang chi we get multiple of we can just lay that down there we can play up ghost rider over here we get more copies of this we'll play another war machine now this is so insane look at this sanctum play huh oh my god yeah dude i would too i'd be like i'm i'm Victory. done i knew we had very finite time before that 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 battle was over but god this is what i mean sometimes when the locations just are cracked all right, guys. Black Knight, Zabu, Infinite, Ghost Rider. We just need a uh, discard option, and we are cooking. Let's get Black Knight out now. The Vault's great for Rody if we get him. Giganto. Let's go Zabu mid. Ah, shoot. This is going to switch up locations, but that's fine. Wow, my God, we didn't get a discard option, but fate gave us one. Uh, and we got War Machine 2, and we have the go. Whoo, okay. Well, fake snap button and Ebony Blade. Okay, Cool Obsidian also cracked. Do we play him now? No, no reason to. I think we go Ghost Rider. So we have the 220. I mean, this is just, this is GG, but let's do it now. Okay, well, Volt's taken care of. Fix that button like three more times. Oh, it's beautiful. Let's go Goose into War Machine. He can't play anything too big there. Our other card's protected there. Uh, man, I will uh, publicly shout out on Twitter that this guy is the best snap player if he manages to get out of this. You see, he still wasn't able to sneak in there. I guess he was going to put the Nightcrawler over there, though, to tie it. Uh, man, I just want to play Giganto, right? Because we can, right? Or middle. We can play him wherever we want to. Uh, but no, let's go ahead and protect us. He's out of here. We're not going to be able to finish this. We are going to go with this and uh, a little bit of that. Call it a day, guys. Goodbye, King Side. All right, Murder World's going to kick us off here. We got Black Knight to start. Let's go and get that down now. We have Ebony, Blade, Goose, Zabu. Let's go. I kind of like Goose in the middle here before we do anything else. Just kind of protect us from maybe a big card they could play. We can sneak in Ebony if we do get War Machine. Oh my god, TVA is pretty, pretty hot. Pretty hot. Snap. I'm going to definitely just snap on that now. He stayed? That's okay. 
And by okay, I mean awesome. And by awesome, I mean like that guy just uh, gave us a ridiculous play. I guess the only thing that could mess us up is if he has a way to get over nine power there. Right? Because we just pop that beautiful boy over there and uh, that's all she wrote. I mean, if he could go above nine, he's got it, but I doubt it. War Machine ain't gonna cut it. I can't believe that guy would stay on that match. <laughs> I, I also love uh, that he just helped us victory with that play. I mean, Cold Obsidian City would have done it too, but my God. Alrighty, Chicken Man. We've got Zabu, War Machine, Ghost Rider, Giganto, the Nexus. Hello. And we've got our Zabu. Snap. Let's go and snap now, man. Why not? Uh, I don't think we want to play. I don't think we want to play in a Gamma Lab. We might throw down the Ghost Rider if we can't get a discard thing over there, but... Okay, steal something. Most of those cards are going to be bad for him. Lady Sif. Well, let's get rid of Giganto. We're going to kind of hope that he did not get our Infinite. Okay, Mobius is actually pretty big for him. Let's go to play this down now. Yeah, we'll play down Ghost Rider now. Next turn will be War Machine. And then we can play uh, a couple things, you know, depending on what works out here. But I feel like, I mean, obviously this is Loki. I feel like, though... Does he have a way to change the Nexus? He should be going harder in the Nexus and he's not. It has me worried. Uh, but I suppose we just play out War Machine. We could play him mid. And then we can always Shang-Chi left. Like, we have a couple of options to still win it. Is this Loki? No Devil? I mean, we have just so many things that can happen right now. We just play super big card. We play Sh Shang-Chi. If we do this, it's probably a little bit better because we protect ourselves if he does change this. But, like, what is this deck playing that can change the location? It's not Scarlet Witch. Maybe a Quake. Maybe. I As much as I want to just play Big Boy Infinite, you know, wherever I want to, we'll go with the safer play in this. Because this just eliminates so much of what he can do. Yeah. We'll go with the safer play. Maybe he's got some way to change location. Doesn't look like he does. We'll punt that. I mean, if this guy gets 26 power uh, under his belt, then I'll be damned. Shang-Chi of his own. Thank God we did what we did. There we go. Okay. Thank God we didn't play Infinite. That's for sure. Victory. That was a fun way to play. A little bit different, too. All right, guys, we got Jonathan here. We have Kiln, which is perfect. Top deck, the War Machine. Love to see it. The Goose is going to have a pretty good effect here. Stark Tower, and we have the Ebony Maw. Love to see it. Let's go Goose now. This is a really good opening setup. Kiln's not bad either, though. Oh my god, this is a perfect ebony map. We could play him with War Machine, we could play him on Kill and then play back into that. We could play him into the Goose or just the Isle of Silence. So kind of just good all around. Lady Sif's nice too. Kind of want to hang on to Lady just because we could end up getting Black Knight. But I do think we're going to play her right now. We don't have to worry about the Ebony Mall as much. Interesting. Well, Goose loses that effect. That was actually a major play. And cool. That was crazy. That was a good play on that guy. Um, uh, We probably can go War Machine now. Just looking at our curve and how this works out. This is probably our best play. Oh my gosh. Pro X. Well, we love that, right? Because we've got... Uh, 
We've got War Machine. It does stop our cards from going in the mid. We could play back into there if we want to. Doubt we're going to. And uh, he can see exactly what we're doing. So let's go... Probably... These two cats, right? We won't be able to play back into that, though. So maybe we... Go... Ebony Maw there. Coal Obsidian here. This is already blocked out. Okay. All systems go. Definitely gonna kill that. Zabu. Kind of tough top decks when we could have had a couple other things. Let's go Shang Chi. Uh, he might just go with the Jeff there, so we just have to play, you know, play out the power there, but feels pretty good. I feel like if I snap, he'll leave. We can just get the one cube. Maybe he's got the confidence. Oh, snap. We'll just snap anyway. He's out of there. We'll take the cube. Victory. Risked it for a couple more cubes, but uh, not bad and uh, really cool to go against the Pro X with War Machine. All right, we've got White Hot Room to kick us off. A Black Knight is always great. Turn one. Sokovia is bad. Oh my God. And it got rid of our Ghost Rider. That was worst case scenario, but we did get War Machine. Dude, that's incredible. Okay. Opponent snapped. Yeah, I, what did you lose? Vision? Okay. Do we snap anyway? Because we have Infinite. I feel like we do. Dude, that guy's going to be shaking into his boots against a three power Ebony Blade. We don't want to play that now, so we're just going to simply, sadly, pass. Wind, aid my hand. Okay, we, we got a way to get to the storm. He's got the new variant. I like that, by the way. Let's go Goose. Potentially. I like the Goose now, but uh, Ebony doesn't feel so bad either. Do we go War Machine now? If we go War Machine now, we would play... Nah, because we want to go with that probably the last turn, yeah? So let's go... Let's just go big old Coal Obsidian. I think this is going to be the play, and then we'll go... Hopefully, we top deck something like Giganto. Okay. Chung. Ooh, yeah, I don't think this guy's playing too big of cards, so this is probably safe. We just get rid of that, and then we can play Infinite, and we have extra energy to boot. It's a little wonky, but we're going to do it. Doom rules all. We have a couple good top decks, Ebony Maw and Giganto. Oh, let's go. Okay. Uh, he could probably beat... He can maybe beat this if he has the Shung. This is just crazy. We just dropped the Infinite here. We also have uh, Giganto. This would have been great if it wasn't three. I think this guy's got a good shot to beat us, depending on what he does left side. It's really just a, a Shung or maybe like a Magneto to win there. I mean, yeah, let's just go uh, Let's go Infinite, and then uh, we'll play Goose as well. Hopefully that's going to be all she wrote, but if we see something left side, we know it's going to be bad news. But looking at this deck, I don't think it's going to run Shung. It's kind of a, it's somewhat of a control deck, so there's a shot. He also might play uh, Eliath, but uh, we can just play Flooded, so we're safe there. Vision's gone. It would just be the Magneto, which would end up tying us. He's up by 10. We're up by more than 10. Dude, we could just win this flood out. There it is. There she blows by one. You got to give it to him. Can you understand you gotta me? give it to him. You can have games like that. And uh, we're, you know, I like to include losses every now and then. And looking at a movement deck, I didn't quite give him the respect of having Shung in there. Looking at what, Psylocke, Jeff, whatnot. But uh, hey, good on him, man. Good win. Arm and boosters, aren't we all, man? War Machine, Goose, Blade, Ghost Rider. Don't want to obviously play Blade quite yet. Quinjet. And X Mansion. All right. Wow. Not great. We don't want to get rid of that either. Let's go, Goose. And, uh, go Goose. I don't know. It's kind of tough, right? Atlantis, he only has to play one card. X-Mansion is bad. Maybe we go Goose left side. He can only play one card for the bonus, and it can't be above a uh, three cost. X-Mansion, he could get, like, an Infinite, so we don't want to mess with that. Uh, we do like the Blade here, especially with the Ghost Rider. War Machine would have been fun with it, but uh, this is just simply 
simply better. And we're also going to go into that goose lane. Okay. I mean, we have Infinite and Shang-Chi, so we feel pretty good here. Meek? <laughs> well, that's, uh, that's a bummer for that guy, huh? <laughs> that sucks, too, because this was a really good game. I guess I'll maybe include it here. Uh, let's throw down the knot here. He's going to stay. Got to give it to him. We do need Zabu kind of too. Let's go with this. We got a turn six as well. Do we even do the Black Knight right now? I don't think so. Maybe we just go. Yeah, we can go War Machine now. Black Knight. Left side. So what's cool is obviously we don't have Zabu, which we just got him. But if we don't get him. We could still do this. Uh, we're going to snap. Snap! If he leaves, he leaves. But that should be pretty good. I don't believe you. That's fine. Um, this is going to be a pretty major play here. And that's what I love, man. You have so many things that kind of synergize together. He's out of there. Victory. Tough to come back from the MODOK, man. But uh, GG. All right, we have nine ball. We have big house. We've got a lot of restricted locations. Which has been awesome. For obviously playing what we're playing. Uh, by the way, we already have, like, the, the, the craziest play, right? We could just do that. We also have two technically big houses. This is just so... This is so sick, man. This is another, like, I would snap here. I'm going to say that, like, every battle, I guess. Hotel Inferno. Oh, my gosh. We could bring back... It's just beautiful. It's just one of those days. Everything... Ev it's just one of those days, guys, like everything's just lining, lining up, lining up for us. I guess we can do some scouting, and get rid of uh, one of his cards. I just want to click the snap button before I did that. That's when you should snap, obviously. Bye, Dr. Doom. What does he have here? J <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's been so hard to get battle footage because this has been a lot of the games. It's just going freaking. It's going well. I don't know what else to say. Uh, turn four, this goes away. So we're going to do the Ghost Rider now. Uh, even though we could do Zob, we're going to go Ghost Rider now to get 23 pure power. Obviously, uh, looking good, all three lanes. Still don't have, um, for what it's worth, War Machine to play into the left. We could have done Zabu to, to Big House there, but we do have uh, Cole Obsidian to help us on left side. Okay. Yep, this is going going pretty well. Um, do we just play Zabu now? Give him a little hope. Give him a little hopium. Wait a second. I just noticed he killed our war machine. That's um, that is uh, what one would call a bummer. Uh, yeah, we just play Zabu now. I'm thinking I'm just going to snap on this guy. I mean, we can tell that this game's just it's stupid good. Uh, and we we stand a good chance to win. If we snap, he's probably out of here. Oh, snap. But let's do it now. This is why we can't. This is why we can't. Victory. This is why we can't. Oh, beautiful. That is, again, I said that in the deck, like, cover it. Like, the one bad part of the deck is that it is clear. Like, we're doing pretty good. So, yeah, I'm going to stick by my, my five-star rating. I think War Machine is here to stay. Just a good card all around can really open up plays and definitely make some decks way better and other cards great synergizes with everything has a good path for the future and definitely has my cozy stamp of approval only after one day uh you know i want to get more testing there will be definitely more decks if you guys want to see those subscribe down below uh one click for you helps me out a ton and uh again about 50 percent of you guys i watch every day have not subscribed have a good one have a great one enjoy war machine and uh till the next one happy snapping